Okay, so we're using Sizzix Shrink Plastic, the whiter side, not the shiny side. And attach your sticker stencils six square onto it and draw around it twice. Then using the end of a Posca pen, draw around that to create a loop. Cut the two in half and apply some pan pastel colour. Well, first of all, you need to put your holes in the bottom and it's easy to pop the other one on top to get the exact same placement. There we go. So this is pan pastels turquoise. And as you're doing one, maybe do the other at the same time. And this is your diary light yellow. And then a touch of the green shade. A very light touch. And then we're going to add some red, but this for this we're going to use Posca pen red with a touch of water applied with a paintbrush. And just smudge it up into the green. Remember colours intensify as things shrink so those pan pastels that might look a little bit wishy-washy will intensify. So that's why we're going to scrub some of that colour off with a black Posca pen, colour in the hanger at the top. From the Christmas greeting stamp set, take the Merry Christmas stamp and just alternate it down your square and cut out and punch a hole in the hanger and where we placed the dots earlier because that's where the bells are going to go. Okay so this is holly stickles and when you put it on before shrinking they end up looking like tiny jewels. It's rather lovely. And this is the archival ink jet black with the star from the Three Kings and a Star stamp set. And I'm using aqua green to Posca pen to colour that in. Add a few Posca dots along the way. And then shrink. So using a Ranger heat tool, I've got my shrink plastic accessory holding it down and we shrink it. Always love the shapes they pull as they shrink. It's like they've got a life of their own. And if you don't think it's gone flat enough, whisk it over to the shiny side up, give it a quick blast of heat and it should flatten itself out. Whisk it over again. There we go. Stamp it down. And that's what it was before and that's how it sh much it shrinks. Okay, so I'm going to add some white Posca pen. And just highlighting almost as if the snow had fallen and landed on those holes. There we go. Snowfall across the top as well. Now, using a Zig two-way glue pen, I'm just popping some down the sides, down all of the sides, apart from the top. So that's the three sides, two sides and the bottom. And then heating that up so it goes tacky and applying the fab foil. I've gone for gold. Um, unfortunately, this is slightly out of shot, but all it is is literally dragging that pen down the edge 
of the square and then popping, there you are, you can see it there, popping the foil onto it and rubbing my finger over it and that leaves a lovely golden edge. edge. Now we're going to apply some goldenrod stickles, just a few blobs of gold. You can never have too much bling at Christmas, surely. There we go. And I've got some four millimeter jump rings and some uh, earring findings. So pop your earring finding through the main hook at the top and then on a jump ring, um, pop. I've got jingle bells because I think they're rather lovely. Um, and I've got the colours that sort of match the colours I've used. Just pop them on a jump ring through that hole and close the hole. You can use your fingers or jewellery pliers, whichever is easiest for you. But these earrings are definitely quite avant-garde. They are quite over the top. You'll definitely be noticed. Anyway, well done. You did it.